Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayers for Thursday the 26th of November. Tonight's theme is Remaining Faithful. Tonight I'll be using some words from St Patrick in his Call to Stand Firm. So let's pray. In the name of the protecting Father, the conquering Son and the liberating Spirit, we bring these prayers this evening. This night we choose to put on the armour of Christ. We choose to fasten Jesus close, the one who became flesh and blood, who died upon the cross to rescue each one of us, the one who broke free from death and is its conqueror, the one who left us in order that he may return with more certainty. All these truths and their power we fasten to us this day. Resisting our own selfishness and sin. Refusing to live as a slave to riches, pleasure or reputation. We choose to reject evil and its lies. We choose to put on Christ. In life's choices and circumstances, watch over and protect us, we pray. In our coming and our going, in light and darkness, watch over and protect us. In hesitancy and fear, uncertainty and rebellion, watch over and protect us. In testing and in pain, in danger and in doubt, watch over and protect us. Alone or with others, watch over and protect us. In comfort or challenge, watch over and protect us. In all our beginnings, and at each ending, watch over and protect us, we pray. Amen. And so tonight we once again find ourselves with the book of Daniel and we turn this evening to chapter 6. Now the king is King Darius and his officials have persuaded him to issue a law which prevents anybody from worshipping or praying to anyone or anything that is not the king. The penalty for disobeying this rule is to be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel, however, Daniel continues to remain faithful to God and continues that rhythm of daily prayer. Of course, news soon gets back to the king and uh, the king issues that Daniel will be brought before him. And seemingly rather reluctantly, the king says that, that the rule must be followed. Daniel must be put in the lion's den. But as he does this, the king says in verse 16, he says, May God, who you faithfully serve, deliver you. And so Daniel was put into the lion's den. But we are probably quite familiar with the story. No harm comes to Daniel on that night. And Daniel, the following morning, when he's still absolutely fine without a scratch on him, He's asked to give his answer to the king as to how this, this can be. And so we read from verse 22 and verse 23 in chapter 6, where Daniel responds. My God sent his angels to shut the mouths, to shut the lion's mouths, so that they would not hurt me. For I have been found innocent in his sight, and I have not wronged you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and ordered that king, 
that Daniel be lifted out from the den. Not a scratch was found upon him, for he had trusted his God. So Daniel remained faithful to God, even in the face of this persecution, this great danger. I love the way that the king responds to, to Daniel. It's quite surprising, really, isn't it, when he says, May God, may the God that you faithfully serve deliver you. Daniel's faithfulness is an act of witness, of testimony. Through him, God has revealed himself to others. I wonder where we are feeling tested today. May these words bring us courage, comfort and hope that we might stand firm and remain faithful in prayer and worship. That through us and through that perseverance and remaining faithful, the, God of gl the glory of God may be revealed. Let's listen to a piece of music. And so as we come to our time of prayer for others this evening, I'm going to offer a, a short invitation. And then within the space, in the silence, 
I invite you to bring your own, the names of those that you know or the situations into those times of silence. So let's pray. Surround with your love in waking and sleeping, in joy and in pain, in wanting and in longing. Enfold in your presence. Encircle with your protection. Embrace with your compassion. Fill with your hope. So together we say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. I bind unto myself today the power of God to hold and lead. God's eye to watch, God's might to stay, God's ear to listen to my need. The wisdom of my God to teach. God's hand to guide. God's shield to ward. The word of God to give me speech. God's heavenly host to be my guard. May Christ be within without. May Christ be above and below. May Christ be all in all. Amen. God's blessing be upon us all this night. In Jesus' name. Amen.